All right, guys. Today we are going to do the fuel lines and filter on a Husqvarna 122 HD 45 hedge trimmer. Um, all the parts will be in the description below that you'll need. Um, what happens with this thing is uh, it runs fine till he turns it up on its side and then it dies out. So something's happening with the fuel line. Um, we'll find out. We'll do. Hopefully, it's just the fuel line and nothing else. Um, first thing we're going to do is take off the air filter cover. Pretty new machine too. So I'm surprised that the fuel lines are bad already. But he may have let it sit for a while. Who knows? How the heck's with this thing? <laughs> I'll lift up on this corner a little bit to pop it over that to get it off. Kind of a weird setup. Um, this looks like T27 screws. Pop them out. Um, they're Torque 27s. Uh, I use a still tool. You can get them cheap on Amazon. I'll put it in the description below. It's got the torque, you know, screw end on it, and it's got the uh, spark plug socket ends. Um, depending on which one this one takes, it's got the bigger one and the thinner one. So I don't know what one this, if this takes the CJ8 or the smaller one or not. Pop them out. Also have this one up here. Take it out. Just note that uh, the choke arm goes inside that right there that's that's how that works just go ahead and pull these off all right pull the air filter right off the carburetor we're really just one step away from replacing the whole carburetor i'll put the whole carburetor it set and everything in this description just in case your carburetor's bad but uh all right so we're going to drain this gas tank out I got fuel in there. I got to get it out. Make sure you start with fresh, brand new gas when you when you do this. So you can see here. Let me turn this on. This torch on. You can see the fuel lines crumbling away right there, and that's the issue with this. Um, so this fuel line right here is the one that goes to the filter. This one is the return line. It doesn't go to anything. Um, even that one popped off. We're going to need to pull this grommet right on out. Just uh, stick your screwdriver in underneath it and give it a good pry. Pop it right on out. There we go. And then uh, we're going to re reach in there and grab the old line get it out of there. So I, I, I like this fuel filter better than the one I'm going to put on there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this filter. I think I'm going to reuse this filter. Um, it's clean. It's, you know, all that happened was this end of the fuel line dry rotted and went bad. This side seems still fresh. So, uh, what I'm going to do is just remove this bad side here and stick to keeping this side here. Um, let me get all that crumbly stuff off there. I had fuel line and filters and stuff, so I didn't order the actual kit or anything from Amazon. So I'm going to look it up and find everything that you need in Amazon. But we're still going to go through the whole process here. Um, I'm going to cut this to a point, stick it through this grommet. Um, stick it all the way through the grommet. Tip off, stab the fuel filter line on it. I'm going to put this clamp on here first and then stab it on it. Put the clamp on there and get it close to the end because I'm going to actually force this nipple up inside this grommet as much as possible. It's got up to the end like that. Then we're going to go ahead and um, cut this. Um, I'm going to leave extra length on there, so I'm going to cut it probably around here. That'll be plenty long enough. Actually, you know what? Make it really long. Cut this to a point, push it through the grommet. It has to go through just through the grommet. And this one I'm making longer, so I know that it's the return line. Remember, uh, the top line is the one that goes to the filter that's closest to the fuel pump. 
um, the one near the primer ball is the return line. See, return line. So we're gonna get ready to hook this up. Um, we're gonna go ahead, shove the filter into the gas tank. And we're gonna make sure it makes its way to the back of the tank. We want it all the way back in there. All the way back into the back of the tank. And we're gonna get the grommet inside the tank. Um, what I'm gonna have to do is it's kind of a pain in the ass. So what I do is I push the back side of the grommet in first, and then I use a flat screwdriver and start prying it in from one side to the other, one side to the other, and just keep working it around. So it's right there. You see I've got it sort of going through. Just keep pushing until it goes all the way in. So we're going to go ahead and put the cable back in the carburetor, just like that. You know, choke arm pointed to the top. Short one is the fuel filter. We're going to line it up to the top and we're going to cut it to size and stab it on. Like that. Then the long one is the return line. We're going to cut it to size and stab it on. Just like that. Um, don't forget the gasket goes on the bottom underneath the carburetor. So what we're going to do is get these bolts through the carburetor. Make sure the choke lines up with that slot. And then we're going to put the gasket on the bolts. Line it all up. And then screw it all down to the torque 27. Check, make sure the gasket's in straight. Yeah, we're good. Got it all started on there. We're going to just get this uh, not completely tight. We're just going to get them good and started. And we want to make sure that this fuel line is not going to get pinched anywhere. Make sure it's off to the side a bit so it doesn't get pinched. And then uh, make sure your throttle is going to work fine. All right, and then we'll check the choke on the top. Let's tighten her down. Choke on and off works still. We're good there. I'm going to put some uh, fuel in it and uh, check, make sure it's priming up. And then prime it. Round up, that's a good sign. All right, filter on, cover on, get over that choke arm, tighten it down. Everything seems to be working all right. Um, needs a slight adjustment. Um, I'll do that in another video. Adjustment screws are down here. It's just the H screw. You turn it counterclockwise. It's kind of bogging here and there. So we're just turning it counterclockwise slightly and it should open it right up. If that helped you out in any way, shape, or form, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Um, if you want to do any advertising through my channel, message me. I'm more than happy to have a sponsor. Peace.